Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon 3. I'm going to get started in the center of my page with the eyes. So let's get started on the left side with a circle, starting from the top. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of the circle. On the top left side of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. In the middle of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil. So start at the bottom of the highlight and just tuck this in underneath. Let's go in and color the pupils in black. In between the eyes, let's draw the nose. So it's basically a circle with an open end along the top. So we start on the left side, work our way to the right. Now on the bottom sides, we're gonna draw the nostril. So on the left, we're going to draw a small half circle, and on the bottom right, we'll draw a little half circle and fill those in black as well. And then just below the nose, we're going to draw a mouth. So a simple curve from left to right, coming down the middle, and then back up. On the ends of the mouth, I just want to draw a little tiny bracket. Let's move up above the eyes and draw on the eyebrow. So on the left side here, I just want to draw a little wave going up. So we're going to go over the eye, and then we'll just pull it up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. So again, leaving a gap in the center, we'll curve down and then around the side of the eye. Now I'm going to connect the inside to the outside with a curve. Now from here, I can draw in the lower part of the jaw. So I'm going to step to the outside of each eye and curve down towards the chin. It's almost like a big half circle that back up on the right side. Now we're going to move back up and draw in the hair bangs. So directly above the right eye, we're going to start with a point. Now from this point, I just want to curve down over towards the left eye. Now we're going to curve that back up. Now we're going to draw smaller bangs going over towards the side. So let's go down over the left eyebrow. And we're going to curve that back up. Now we're going to draw a slightly longer one out towards the outside of the head. So curving down and then out, and now we're gonna pull that back up. On the right side, let's draw a smaller band coming down towards the right eyebrow, so curving down, and then we're gonna pull that back up. From here, I just wanna curve around the eyebrow down towards the cheek, curving out, and then down. On this side, we're gonna start underneath this hair bang, curve down towards the cheek. Let's add a few freckles underneath the eyes. So we're just gonna draw three little spots, under each eye. On the top edge of the cheek, we're just going to curve up and out for the sideburns. And then we can tuck the ears in behind the sideburns. So we're going to start from the top, we're going to step down, curve around the ear, and then just pull that in towards the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now right in the inside of the ear, I just want to draw a little hook for the inner ear. Now directly above this point, we're going to step up and draw a point for the split in the hair. So we're going to work our hair down towards the side on the left. Now here we're going to start with a curve going over and out. Now we're going to hook and taper that back down. Let's draw a slightly larger one going over towards the left. And then again, we're going to hook that down. Now we're going to work our way towards the side of the head. Here we're going to curve around and then down. And then again, tapering that back in. Now from here, I want to curve in the opposite direction towards the side of the head. Curving down and then out. We'll taper that back in with a short curve. I'm going to work my way towards the side of the ear. So we'll curve out and we'll pull that in behind the ear. Let's go back up to the top and work our way around the right side. Curve over towards the right and then we'll hook that back. We'll do another one, curving out a little bit longer that back in. Now from here I want to curve down, aiming towards the ear, but I'm going to flick it out at the end. So curving down towards the ear, and at the end we'll just flick it up. I'm going to hook 
that back with a short curve. And we're gonna do one more. Another point, and then right in behind the ear. Before I draw in the rest of the hair, let's go to the center and draw in the body. So on either side of the chin, I'm gonna curve down and out. From this point, I wanna curve up towards the opposite corner of the shoulder, curving across and then up. Now from this corner, I wanna curve in the opposite direction underneath this line. From the bottom corner, I'm gonna step in and continue the curve down towards the hips. So from this corner on the left, I'm gonna step in, curve down. And do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve for the lower part of the belt. We're gonna add two belt straps in the lower part of the body. So we're gonna step up, follow that same curve going over towards the right. We wanna leave a gap in between the belts. Draw another curve, stepping up, draw the top of the second belt. Now we're just gonna add a buckle in the center. So starting with the bottom one, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down. We wanna draw a small little rectangle on the inside just to frame off the buckle. Do the same thing at the top. Two straight lines and then a small rectangle in the center. On the right side of each belt, we're just gonna draw a little curve just for the end of the belt strap. And then along the left side, we're gonna draw two small circles and fill them in black. Draw a line down the center in behind the belt. So in the middle, we'll just go right in towards that belt and then in between. We're gonna add one strap going across the chest this way. So we're gonna take this curve underneath the chin. We're just gonna curve across right about there. We wanna add a little point at the end. So angling down and then towards the bottom. Right here, we're gonna add another buckle. So two lines going from top to bottom. And then we're gonna add a little rectangle on the inside. At the bottom end here, we're just gonna add a little circle, and at the top, we'll add the same thing. I wanna add two little straps along the bottom here. So underneath the buckle, we're just gonna angle down, round up the end, and then pull that up. We're gonna do that one more time. So stepping over, and at the bottom, we're just gonna add two little black dots. We'll continue working down with the legs. So in the center, we're gonna move down towards the middle, and draw a little curve from left to right, going across. On the left side, we're gonna step in, curve out, and then down towards the left. Now from here, I wanna draw on the bottom of the foot. So from the heel to toe, we're gonna to draw a curve. From the toe, we're gonna to curve up the top of the foot, aim towards the heel. We're gonna leave a little gap on the inside. So we're not gonna close that gap off. From that hip, curve down towards the top of the foot. On the right side, he's got a peg leg, so we're only gonna work down about halfway. So from this point, we're gonna step in, curve down about halfway down the leg. We're gonna round out the bottom of the leg, going out. Now we're gonna connect the hip to this curve, going out and then down. We're gonna tuck a half circle underneath the leg. So we're gonna step in, draw a half circle, and we wanna leave a little overlap on the outside as well. We're gonna add the peg at the bottom here. So on the left side of the bottom, we're gonna curve down towards the same height as the bottom of the foot, square it off, and curve back up underneath. Now we just wanna trim this out on the inside. So stepping in, we'll follow those two curves coming down to the bottom and close it off with a straight line. Let's add some detail to the legs. So on the left side of center, we're gonna curve down and then out towards the left. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right, curving down and out towards the right. On the left side here, we're gonna add two straps. So above the top of the foot, curve down and in. We're gonna step down, and just draw the bottom edge of the strap. We're gonna do the same thing just above. Drawing another curve from the outside to the inside. Step up and draw one more curve. Now on the right side here, we just wanna draw a seam coming down the center of the leg. So underneath this flap, curve down towards the peg. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. So I'm gonna start with the shoulder pads first. So about halfway along this curve on the side of the body, curve down and then out. I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction behind the head. Going up and then in. I wanna add a trim along the bottom. So we're gonna step up. Just follow that same curve going in behind the chest plate. We're gonna add a little bit of detail here. So on the outside, we're gonna come down with an angle and then we're gonna draw a point going up and then down. We're gonna do the opposite on the top. 
starting at the top here, come down, go up. Now we're just gonna round it out in behind the head. On the right side, the shoulder pad curves in the opposite direction. So halfway down the side of the body, curve down and out. We're gonna curve up in behind the head. And we're gonna add a little trim along the top here. So going up and curving across. We're gonna add a stitch along this side. So underneath the head, we're just gonna follow that same curve coming down. And then we wanna add a little X, a little stitch line on the top there. Now we're gonna tuck the arms in underneath the shoulder pads. So from the corner of the chest plate, curve down and out. We're gonna round up the thumb, a little half circle. And at the end of the thumb, we're gonna draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, curve around the bracket and go up. We're gonna step down, draw on a second finger going up. Now the third finger is gonna go all the way around in behind the shoulder pad. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the top, right in here, curve down and out. We're gonna round up the thumb, a little half circle. Then we're gonna draw a little bracket at the end. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna go around the bracket and go up. We're gonna step down, draw on the second finger. And then the third finger is gonna go around and then in behind the shoulder pad. Let's add the edge of the sleeve down here. So on the side of the hand, we're gonna curve across the knuckles and then up in towards the inside part of the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, curve down over the knuckles and then out. From that same point in the wrist, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction towards the outside of the arm. We do that on both sides. We're gonna add a little arm cover on the side of the arm. So from this curve, we're gonna step up and curve across about halfway along the arm now we're gonna follow that same curve in behind the shoulder pad. Let's do the same thing on the right. So stepping up from the wrist, curving about halfway along the arm, and we curve this up underneath the shoulder pad. On the inside, we wanna add two little straps. From that corner, we're gonna step up, curve towards the inside of the arm, we're gonna step up and do the same curve. Let's add one more strap up above, going that same curve going across, and then one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right side. From this corner, we're gonna step up, curve to the inside of the arm. Draw that twice. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and draw one more strap. Now let's go in and finish off the rest of the hair. On the left side here, I'm gonna add two simple little braids coming out. So at the bottom of the earlobe, I'm gonna curve down and then out toward the left. I'm gonna taper that back up underneath the earlobe. And at the end here, right at the tip, I'm gonna curve up and then down and we'll curve in the opposite direction for the lower part of the braid. We're gonna add one more just below here. So beside the cheek, we'll curve down and out, and then we'll pull that back in behind the head. Again, we're gonna add that same little tip, curve around, and then curve in the opposite direction. On the right side, we're just gonna simply add some hair on the bottom. So underneath the earlobe, we we'll curve down and out, and we're gonna hook that back in, so tapering it back in, We'll do one more point, curving out. Now we're tucking this in behind the shoulder. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon 3. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.